We've all been there. Play the clip. Hi everyone, welcome back to Hi Black Girl, a channel where we talk about all things beauty and all things personal finance for my cuties or my baddies rather that want to look cute on a budget. So in today's video, if you couldn't tell from the title, we're going to be talking about how you can have the cheapest period ever. I'm going to be sharing how I save over $300 a year just by switching my like menstrual products. It's insane. So in today's video, I'm going to go over a couple of different products that I use and the ones that I recommend, some new products that I'm testing, as well as how disposable menstrual products are so bad for the environment and also bad for your wallet. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure you keep watching towards the end of the video. And do I really have to say it? Do I? Do I? <laughs> I don't do it <laughs> okay so first things first let's go over the cost of disposable period products I swear to God this grinds my gears so much so if you're anything like me when you first started getting your period back in middle school like you just use like whatever your mom used right so my mom was a huge pad lady so I started with pads which was nice and I'm so grateful because like my mom covered like all that cost I know not everyone was like privileged enough to have you know free period care <laughs> but my mom like provided them for me and my school provided them for me but when I started having to buy that shit on my own when I tell you I was buying a pack of tampons or pads just for like my day-to-day -day use then I was buying a special brand of pads or tampons for my athletic use you know those sport branding marketed ones then of course I was buying another pack for my overnight use because you need something else you know to really help you overnight it's truly all a fucking lie it's all a lie all a lie there is no reason besides marketing dollars why you need to buy all those different period products and honestly a pack of 26 of just like the regular ones that i really like that's anywhere from like 10 to 15 dollars right so those are my daytime ones then i have my sport ones then i have my overnight ones and before you know it that's like about 40 dollars worth of disposable period products that i'm using on a monthly basis in saying when i tell you it is all a fucking lie i mean it like please please it's bad for your wallet number one and two it's bad for the environment every time you use the bathroom you have to change your pad or your tampon like you can't even just like let it sit in there and like keep it going if you're not peeing or anything it doesn't matter like i just felt so gross i had to change it every time and so i was going through so many all the time and yeah long story short yeah forty dollars a month crazy now let's talk about menstrual cups because i swear to you they have changed my life for good when i was in my senior year of college my woman and gingers professor like introduced me to menstrual cups and i had no idea she was like disposable period products are a capitalist tool built by a patriarchal like society and i was like oh my god yeah you're right so she introduced me to a diva cup and it was so funny because i don't even think she did it intentionally like we just ended up going to this really cool bookstore that also happened to sell diva cups only in new york city so like <laughs> I ended up buying a diva cup that was the first menstrual cup I've ever used it cost about $40 but eventually I realized that it just wasn't for me it was so firm and stiff that I could feel when I had it inside me and if you're using like the right menstrual cup for you you shouldn't be able to notice it at all so after about six months of using that I started looking for a different menstrual cup and that's when I found Lena cup they're about $25 a cup and I absolutely love them they last for years even now the only reason i'm looking to get a menstrual cup again is because i stained the my last lena cup and it can be stained 
that's totally fine that's totally natural that's totally normal it can still be clean sanitary and safe to use and stain by you know your period but that's totally normal but i just felt like hey you know i i know i've had this cup for two years so let me go back on the market and see if there's anything new that's when i found the june cup i haven't used it yet but they only cost eight dollars and i got two for 14 like my mind blown like i did not know menstrual products could be this affordable so i am really excited to be trying out the june cup i'll let you guys know what i think maybe in future videos but i also wanted to mention that in addition to menstrual cups i do like to pair them with like period underwear so when i first started using that diva cup i was just using like panty liners and like really thin pads um when i had my cup in but i do highly recommend period panties just because you know number one it's good for your wallet and number two it's good for the environment so i used thinks thinks were the first period of panties that i used and they're pretty expensive they cost around like 25 to like 45 dollars depending on what pair you get like what kind of flow the coverage etc they do last a really long time i just had to get rid of one pair because it i stained the bed they were weren't working anymore but I realized that I wasn't taking care of them properly so when you do get period panties you should probably hand wash them that's what the instructions said in my June one I did not get those instructions from thanks so they might be safe for machine washing but after three years they're they're not gonna work anymore so I was definitely in the market for some new period panties hence when I found June so June even their period panties were super affordable I paid $60 for a three pack which is about $20 a pair comparable pairs I think I want to say cost like 35 a pair so I'm really excited to try those out but guys I crunch the numbers for you I want you to know how much I'm saving by using reusable period products I've crunched all the numbers and I'm happy to report that if you spend about $40 a month on period products like I used to and you switch over to using reusable products even if you do the high-end ones like if you go with thinks and you go with diva cup that's like hundred and forty dollars a year so you could save save a whopping three hundred and forty dollars a year just by switching to reusable period products and if you go for the more affordable version june disclaimer i still haven't actually used them yet but i they have good reviews and i believe in the cause you could save 406 dollars a year and that's if you're spending about 40 dollars a month on period on disposable period products so please close bitches so what are you waiting for you should switch over today um also once again my name is Nika. thank you so much for watching today's video oh ow oh my god ow so thank you so much for watching today's video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and do i have to say it please 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 help a sister out um otherwise stay tuned for weekly videos every wednesday follow me on instagram tiktok all the fun things and i will be back next Wednesday with another video. Thanks so much for watching.